Hello! I'm happy to see you. Let's get back to the Syracuse Dynasty in NCAA 2014. This is the Big Ten Championship game. This is a big deal. Year number one in the conference. We're ranked number five, taking on the number one Nebraska Cornhuskers. It's been a long time since Nebraska has been number one. They are probably the favorite. You would think that they are the favorite. They have not lost a single game this season. Matter of fact, let's check out their schedule before we get started. They opened up the season versus Wyoming, beat them, then came back for their big, first Big Ten contest. They beat Illinois 35-7. to Then they beat FCS Midwest. They have another bye week. Then take on USC for the first time in conference play with the win in overtime. They handle Purdue. They handle UCLA. Both LA teams Close to an upset. They were close to the upset. They handled Minnesota, Northwestern, Michigan. They handled Michigan State by 17. Handled Penn State by 24. And then they were also able to beat Iowa 24-10. to So a good year for them. When it comes to recruiting, we're still on the recruiting trail. Real quick, we're going to go over recruiting before we jump into the Big Ten Championship game. We got a free safety and Noah White to sign on the dotted line. We're basically wrapping things up. The only team need that we really had was linebacker and kicker. So I figured we would just test things out. This kicker we actually probably are going to get and we start recruiting him late in the process. And he's actually going to be one of our highest recruits of, of the early part of this dynasty, man. And, and again, everything is on Heisman. I showed you guys an episode before uh, the slider set. And I must say, I'm pretty surprised of how things turned out in year number one. We did sign that cooker, as you can see right there. Also got Chris Morris, cornerback. He has committed to the squad. And there you have it. There you go. And then here's the rest of the guys that we're going after. Uh, we don't really have any. Like I'm actually giving all these guys scholarships right now. This is what's happening right here. Giving everybody that we can scholarships. Is it kind of early? I mean, yeah, but it's also kind of late because, you know, the season's coming to an end. After this moment in time, we won't be able to recruit until the off-season portion of things. So, yeah. Is what it is. I think recruiting went fairly well this season. We still have some guys that we can go after and go get. This is how everything shapes up so far. Nebraska's number one, followed by Alabama, Ohio State, Oregon. Then there we go at number five. Texas A&M's number six, followed by Washington, Texas, Fresno State, Oklahoma, Stanford. Ball State is up in the top 12. Notre Dame, they lost last week. They dropped back, back down to 13. Ole Miss, North Carolina, Louisville, Arizona State, Miami, Georgia, Navy, a top 20 team. Michigan State, Missouri, Arkansas is number 23. Boston College, and then Georgia Tech is number 25. Let's get the Big Ten Championship game underway. Number one versus number five, Syracuse versus Nebraska. So first down in 10. Allen has the football, throws it to Wales, and Wales going to just put that head down and punish you. Watch out. He's coming for you, and he's going to find you. Up the gut goes Jerome Smith. He might mess around and win the Heisman. As of right now, it is Taylor Martinez, quarterback for the Nebraska Cornhusker. He's on top. But our boy Jerome Smith, Jerome in the house, he might have a chance to get that thing. Smith to the 40. Then he gets belted, gaining just three, and he paid the price for it. Second down, seven yards to go. Allen getting busy, and Allen's going to cross that orange line, and that means he has a first down gain of eight. Screen pass. Not the best blocking on that screen pass, and Gully is going to go backwards. Second down, 10 yards to go. We're going to fire that thing to Wales. 40. Can't quite get to the first down marker. So third down, and then just give it to Gully. And Gully getting Gully. Prince T. Gully picks up the first down. Play fake. Looking down. Phil to our backup tied in. And Big Aaron coming through with the catch. First and 10. Prince T. Gully gets the carry, and he's going to pick up nine. We need one yard on second down and one, and we get that yard. But again, Jerome Smith pays the price. Picks up the first down just barely. Trying to run the ball. We pick up three yards. Second down and goal. We're going to run the ball again. Up that gut, and we get the nine at the one. So third down and goal. Single back looking to go to the air. Allen fires it to the tight end, in and out of his hands. That's our first incompletion of the contest. And that's going to leave us looking up at three points on the board. So Nebraska only down by three. Their big star is number three. And Taylor Martinez punishing will be tacklers until Raymond catches him from behind. First down and ten. Martinez going to roll right. Weaving through traffic. Breaks a tackle. Met at the first down marker. They're going to say that the ball crossed by an eyelash. So give him a first down. 
Triple option. Martinez going to keep it 30. Inside the 20, we finally catch him. Look at Taylor Martinez putting on a show. Martinez fires it. That one. Oh, I thought it was a Yahoo. Zay Hur, you better watch out, Taylor. Your boy's lurking. Second down and goal. They fire that one. That pass will be caught. So third down and goal now. They're inside the 10. Can we get a goal line stand? They force one on us, and we force one right back on them. So great job by the Syracuse Orange defense. The kick is up. The kick is good. And number one is on the board with three. Cobetta cuts the back at the 20. Makes one guy miss to the 30, to the 40. In Cornhusker territory. Chased out of bounds at the Cornhusker 33-yard line. Let's call it. First down and 10. Get the ball to Jerome Smith. Breaks a tackle. He's going to pick up a gain of six. Second down, four yards to go. Allen fires it to the flat. Timing was a little bit off on that pass. Nerves got to still be going haywire. That pass caught by West. Good to have number 88 back. Haven't seen him play in a long, long while. Looking over the middle. Caught by Cobana. He's going to get pummeled after a gain of just seven. And that's going to take us to the second quarter of play. All knotted up at 3-3. Three, three. So second down and three. We're going to run the option. And the option gets us in the end zone. Touchdown, Drew Allen. And Nebraska, you could be in trouble. You're not the only team that can run the option. And obviously, it's not like the old school option. Like, like in 97, like, man, my gosh, that option is stupid crazy. Turner breaking tackles. And Turner gets this one all the way inside the 20. Gain of 53 with one flick of the wrist. Martinez puts another one on the money, but will be dropped. Second down and 10, Abdullah. Amir Abdullah gets strung out. Nothing doing for you, sir. Third down and 10. Martinez fires it. It's going to be caught by Ab Abdullah. Amir Abdullah showing off his hands. Gain of 13 right there. First down and goal from the five-yard line. And Martinez throws it to long. Touchdown. Touchdown, Nebraska. And that's exactly what the doctor said. So you tied the ball game up with that touchdown. 10-10 is the score. Look at Smith. He's going to pick up 10, but not exactly a first down. Don't know how that works. So it's going to be basically a gain of nine. Then we pick up one yard right there, and that will be enough for a first down. Read option. They went after the tailback. That means you keep it. And Drew Allen keeps it for a gain of 14. Perfect execution on that last play. Looking downfield. Perfect execution on this play. Wells down the middle of the field for a gain of 22. And run the read option again, and this time they got penetration on the left side. The DN took the running back, and I guess that was a nickel cornerback coming up to take the quarterback. Perfect job on that play. We throw the ball, we pick up four yards. Third down and 11. Look at Wales, man. Number 85, National Tight End Day. Tight End Appreciation Day. Whatever you want to call it, but we're going to recognize it today, baby. Christopher Clark in the end zone. Our third receiver has come up big time and time again this season. And he does so again here in the Big Ten Championship game. It has been all Taylor Martinez. The rest of the squad, got to step your game up. First down and 10. Martinez trying to do it himself. And he's going to get dropped. Loss of four on the play. That was Davis with the sack. They said the screen pass and nothing doing. Nothing doing. Nothing doing. Third down and 15 up the gut. And again, you get shut down. I guess they didn't trust their passing game. I would have trusted Taylor Martinez. He might be more of a runner, but I would have trusted him. You know, it's a championship game. I'm going to trust my best player, a Heisman finalist. Second down and seven. That pass falls incomplete. Rolls with the bat down. Third down and seven. Allen has it. Allen going to roll right, and Allen's going to roll right into a sack. So we get stopped. And now Nebraska has a chance before the half is up to possibly tie this thing up. Turn to go on tiptoe down that sideline. That's going to result in a first down. First down and 10. That pass will be caught. That's going to result in a gain of five. Martinez puts that one on the money. Can't do it again here on second down and five. No, he cannot. He gets sacked yet again. Loss of four. Third down and nine. Martinez is loose. We got to spy him. We got to spy him. Right now, we're not spying him, and he's just doing whatever he wants to do. First down and 10. Again, no spy. And again, Taylor is loose. Crosses the 20. All kinds of speed. Weaving through traffic like your mama knew hair do. And that's going to result in a touchdown. So, Mr. Martinez is showing out. But we're in this thing. 17 to 17 is the score, man. I think a lot of people thought we might lose this thing. But we are right in this thing. 
So here we go. Start the second half. They get the football first. Bell. Just taking north and south. Not messing around. Not too many moves. Up to the 26-yard line. He goes. Triple option. They fake it to the first option. They run it with the second option. Give it to the third option, which is Amir Abdullah. He might be headed to playing on Sundays, if you know what I mean. Jake Long makes the catch. That's going to result in a gain of six. Second down, four yards to go. Abdullah trying to get loose. And he does just that. Move those chains. They give it to him again. Decent blocking, but the orange, they've seen enough. It is a gain of three. That's kind of a wash. Gain of two. That's a win for the defense. Gain of four. Offense, three yards. We'll just call that a wash. Two yards right there, and Abdullah appears to be hurt. So, third down and five. No Abdullah on the field. Martinez breaks one tackle, but then gets sacked yet again. Not one, not two, but three sacks for this defense. Second sack by Davis right there. Allen able to weave through traffic just a little bit. Picks up eight. Going to get the ball to Smith. Nothing doing. Again, a perfect call. They got penetration all over that left side. We got to run the ball with the tailback. He goes nowhere. Third down and five. Trying to escape. We do. But then the whole crew was waiting for us. The squad was like, we're going to find you. And they did just that. Let's see what Taylor Martinez can do. What a tackle by Wilkes. You think Taylor might break that tackle, but not this time. Second down and seven. They go up the gut with Cross. He gets brought down. I believe that's Davis with the tackle. Sets up third down and one. Read option again. And they will give it to him by the hands of his chinny chin chin. Just barely got that first down. Bell makes the catch. Move those chains. Yes, sir. First down and 10. Pistol formation now for Nebraska. Martinez steps up in the pocket. He's in deep. And Mr. Anderson is there to bat that thing away. Second down and 10. Cross up the gut. Zero yards game. Third down. What can Nebraska do? They get hit. Martinez gets hit, I should say. And that pass will fall incomplete. But they should be in field goal range. And Nebraska is on top for the first time tonight. So 20 to 17 is the score. Number one is on top of number five. Coban is loose yet again. 30, 35, 40. Bumped out at around the 45-yard line. And look what Nebraska has done, or Taylor Martinez has done, compared to the first half of this half. Second half, we're kind of shutting it down. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. But so has Nebraska shut down our offense so far. Well, I don't think. Well, yeah. Let's just move on. Third down and three now. Looking downfield is Drew Allen. Going to fire that thing to the flat. Smith. Oh, that double juke straight. Nasty. Still on his feet. 30 and then drop down shot. I thought he was going to cross that 30. Did not. But gain of 17. We'll take that. Second down and 10. Looking downfield. That pass is caught by Mr. West. Wake up, Mr. West. Jared West makes the catch, and that's going to be a first down for the Syracuse. Orange and then a perfect pass to Colbena. Drew Allen threading the needle. That's what I'm talking about. What a pass. They ran that cover, too. There's a window along that sideline, and we found that thing. First down and 10 up for Nebraska. Martinez, he's loose. Still getting loose. Still getting away. All the way to the Syracuse 45. First down and 10. That pass will fall incomplete. Miscommunication like on that play. Second down, 10 yards to go. Look at Martinez. Breaks the tackle. Still on his feet. And then he gets absolutely pummeled. What a hit. Believe that was Lynch that laid the lumber. And we're going to take a four-point lead into the fourth quarter of play. 24 to 20 is the score. Third down and 13. Screen pass to Cross. And Cross breaks one tackle. Need to do a lot more than just one. And we're going to take over from our own 20 after the punt. Smith makes the catch on the screen pass. And he's loose. And he's going to work his way upfield for a smooth gain of 20. First down and 10. Give it to Jerome Smith. I, I got it. Look at the running ability of this guy. Especially when the O-line is firing on all cylinders. You know he's going to find some running room and do what it does. Another. Just break your ankle, sir. Just break your own ankles. First down and 10. Give it to Gully. Gully trying to get loose. Picks up just two yards. Second down. Eight yards to go. Out formation. Give it to Gully again. Breaks a tackle. Gets close to the first down marker. And they're going to give it to him. First down and 10. Read option. Allen. He's not much of a juker. Not much of a shifty guy out there. But he does run the ball hard. And he picks up six. I can respect that. Up the gut. Jerome Smith. Gain of eight in the first down. First down and 10. Can Nebraska get a stop? They held us to a field goal in our first position. They need to do that here again. Second down and 10. Read option. Allen's going to keep it. Allen gets a mean block. 
and that's going to result in a touchdown. The blocking downfield, especially by our receiver, number 18, Christopher Clark, led the way for a touchdown, and now Nebraska, they, they might need a miracle to hold on to that number one spot and get to that national championship game. That pass will fall incomplete. Third down and 16, Martinez going to throw a screen pass, and that's not going to go nowhere, nowhere at all. Marcus Spurl is there for the stop. Number 11 is an absolute monster. And then Smith gets belted. Jerome Smith, like, watch out. I'm sure your insides hurt. We get the ball to Smith yet again. I was hoping that my man would get the block. He did not. Gain the three, though. We're going to run the ball again, obviously. Got one timeout. They're down two possessions. Run the ball, and we do that. We take away all their timeouts. They're going to have a minute 19 on the clock. Martinez. Fires it deep, and that pass is caught by Turner. Turner inside the 25, drag down just shy of the 20. Martinez continues to impress. Abdullah gets open. He breaks the tackle, and that's going to result in a first down gain of 13. Second down and goal after they spike the football. That pass caught by Bell, but stopped at the goal line. Gain of eight, they need a nine. Third down and goal. Martinez has it. Martinez gets away from the sack, throws it out of bounds. And they're going to maintain possession at the one-yard line. And they're going to run the ball. And that's going to result in a touchdown. We're able to get that sack. I'm not sure they're able to get that touchdown right there. At least not that way. So they're going to go for two, making a three-point game. Martinez has it. Martinez going down. Sacked by Davis yet again. It's not going to count in the stat column as a sack. I think it should. But, hey, that's just me. And Clark is there for the onside kick recovery. And we are just one victory formation play away from winning this ball game and being crowned Big Ten champions. We came, we saw, we conquered. Our two biggest games in conference, well, one, we lost to Penn State in overtime. And that one was just a crazy, crazy game. We also lost to Rutgers this season. That was the first game. And Rutgers is not in the Big Ten in this dynasty. Uh, so, but then we beat Wisconsin, beat Ohio State, and that's why we were here in the Big Ten Championship game. But then the beat number one, Nebraska. That's just pretty, pretty flipping phenomenal, man. But going back to what I said, I wonder why you don't get, like, credited for a two-point conversion. Y'all remember that game that Randy Moss had versus the Cowboys way back when? He scored, like, three touchdowns on three catches. He caught a two-point conversion, which would have been four catches for technically, like, you know, four points, you know, like four scoring plays. But, hey, it just doesn't count. I always find that weird because the kicker gets points for that. If you look at the NFL history, the kickers are the number one scoring guys almost all over the place, and that one point counts for them. I don't know. I'm rambling. I'm sorry. But, hey, here we go, man. Here we go. We won. That's all that matters. Wales, again, man, Wales always coming through. He is our security blanket. Whenever I need a big play, I'm looking for him. It was good to have West back, three catches for 32 yards there. We're not a real, like, deep threat passing game. And we all know that throwing the ball deep is a little cheesy in this game, especially if we go four verts. Um, so I try to stay away from that. And I like to run the ball anyway. I'm kind of an old school guy. I like to run the ball. Uh, but you definitely got to move the ball downfield. And Wells is kind of the guy that we decide to do that with. So we beat Nebraska. Florida Atlantic beats Middle, uh, Middle Tennessee State in their conference championship game. Oklahoma over Texas A&M in the SEC title game. So there you have it. Who are we going to be facing? I'll let you guys know next episode. It won't be somebody that's on this list, which is kind of crazy. But that's that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace. Love. Hot sauce.